It's uh, a bit annoying. Well, I'd found some uh, maybe 10 gallons of water in my engine room and I thought they might have been from the rain. I didn't want to taste it because there was like diesel on the bottom of the bilge before so I didn't really want to, you know, put my finger in there. But now I can see the water flowing in from the back. So it seems that there is a hole somewhere in my aft cabin around there. So now I'm going to take everything out and see where the water comes in. It's always scary, I hate having holes in the boat. And also, I mean, you know, this most likely will mean that some major work, which is never fun. It was like, I could see it flowing in from here. And then I checked here and so you can see it flowing in through there. Where is it? There. Oh, there. That's where it comes in. So, I don't know. Could have hunted down. I don't want to poke around at it too much by myself, so I'm just asking Maria to come over. Give me a hand. I mean, my bilge pump is working, but it's still, it, it's good to have someone stand by with a vacuum cleaner as well, like to suck out some extra water. And, um, yeah, I guess I'll try to clean the area a little bit. And then for now, put some splash down on it. Super splash zone, super epoxy. Um, you, it cures below the waterline, like it can, you know, you can also use it when it's excellent for underwater repairs to fiberglass, metal, concrete, and wood. So, I'm gonna splash some of that on, um, and then, yeah. And then add that to the list of things to do. Anyways, I'm back to work. <laughs> it does stick. Yeah, you stopped the leak. It's not leaking in here. It's not leaking anymore? No. Sorry. <laughs> well, I put a whole bunch on. Um, yeah, you could tell you were being sparse at first and then it opened up again and then you shoved some more. Well, I was using the spatula. Yeah. And it didn't really work with the spatula because it just kept them falling off. So what I did is I used my hand. Yeah, that's how it works. I was able to stop the leaking for now with the splash zone, but obviously it's not a permanent solution, so I assume I'll have to haul out some time soon. Well, I guess that most of you know that I have gotten a brand new uh, Better Marine diesel engine last year not two years ago but last season and uh, well it's been running beautifully so far we have like 250 hours on it, and I already did like the first oil change of the main engine and the transmission and today again it's engine maintenance day so I'm gonna take a care so I'm gonna take care a bit of uh, big red birdie down there 
to make sure that uh, she's gonna do a good job in the future too. So, fuel filter it is then. Filter is actually pretty straightforward. You just really unscrew everything. And uh, clean it. The only tricky thing when you put it back together is um, this little gasket here. This guy. Because it is all in here right that's like how the fuel gets pumped through and there's a little like indent here on the gasket you would assume like if you don't look at it when you take it apart like and you look at the things you think how would you put them together you would think that this little thing maybe goes like on the ball since it's kind of like roundly ball shaped yep that's not how it goes if we do that there's no suction well one thing that's different from uh my old engine to my new engine is that the new engine actually has a zinc anode in the heat exchanger so you gotta check that regularly and replace it each year or something so i haven't done that yet we'll do that now and um we'll probably also open up the um the coolant tank and take out the tube stack it's called tube stack and um, just check for any debris that might have collected there and just make sure everything is good and um, put it all back together. Yes, that needs exchange. Documenting everything for the replacement. Okay, so I drained most of the coolant. I think, and I took off the other cap as well, so now I'm going to try and push the tube, shack, tube, tube stack out of the heat exchanger. Let's see how that goes. Well, with my old engine, it would just slide out right away. This one does not. So I'm probably... Yeah, can I take a piece of wood and maybe tap it slightly from the back? Let's see if that helps. way around the tube set goes in but what's important is that it's leveled out right it has like a little split here and two little arrows so you have to make sure it goes in like the right way so the water flow is optimized
Então... Now I'm gonna try and fire up and see if there's any leaks. Warm up the oil and then do the oil change. Carl to Vista Mar Marina was so Maria could help me weld my hole in my fuel tank. And to have access to the area where the hole is, I had to remove a massive 400 liter stainless steel water tank. I've just asked a friend of mine over, um, Mike from the boat Easy. He's got uh, superpowers. So I hope he's going to come over and give me a hand to get this little fatty out of here. And um, I'm just going to start tapping it a little bit to jiggle it a little loose because it's still kind of stuck because it's been sitting in there for a while so i'm just gonna yeah tap it here and there and um i hope that we're going to be able to take it out just by human force and like you know just like two people like jamming on it like hammering it up and pulling it up at the same time on both ends let the bang begin So I told you Mike was going to come over. Hello. That's Mike. He's super famous. You might know him. I guess so. I'm famous in my own head. <laughs> what's, that, <laughs> what's that move called that you invented? Oh, this is J-Tear. The J-Tear. <laughs> you invented that. It's a snowboard move. We're about to, to pull be. a J-Tear right here and pull this whole thing out. I think that would be pretty cool if we could do that. From what you explained about <laughs> the J-Tear is, that would be pretty insane. I'd like to do that. Yeah. You, you have to show me. I'm, I'll, well, I'll follow your lead. <laughs> hopefully it'll be that easy. <laughs>
Oh, we got it out. Well, I have to admit that <laughs> mostly Mike got it out. He's just like moving it around and going like, oh yeah, where do you want it? Where do you want it? And um, it's on the dock now. It's uh, a lot of room all of a sudden in here. Um, and a big chaos. Oh. But, you know, it's a good progress. It's out. It's good news. It's just still, still a lot to do. Don't worry about that. Next week.